Okay, so this is going to be a mini part video as well. The Tupelo Children's Mansion. I've told you all that my children were legally kidnapped, held hostage for four and a half years. Um, the judge, which I'll get into at another time, has ties to this orphanage in Mississippi. Everything I'm going to show you is public record. I'm asking questions. I'm not making accusations. I'm not making assumptions. And this is in no way intended to bully or belittle or insult anyone. Okay. This is all public record and I'm just asking questions. So there's my disclaimer. Um, our judge who went by a couple of initials, he was a 30, um, third degree Freemason. I've noticed that Freemasons um, use two initials and then a last name generally. So when I looked up the um, business records on the Tupelo Children's Mansion, I noticed that it's probably run by Freemasons. Okay. This gets, it'll be totally worth it. Um, this name right here, he is friends with Facebook, uh, with friends with our first judge on Facebook. He owns a adoption thing that they go um, out of the country. It, it's handled out of the country that our judge has ties to. There's pictures of him handling this stuff, our judge, along with this guy right here. Um, it was much like the finders. If you look up the adoption thing or the religious adoption thing, the finders, um, there's a whole rabbit hole on that. What I could um, figure out is that this is much like that. Anyway, New Beginnings of Tupelo was founded. Adoption Agency has ties with the United Pentecostal Church International. Okay. Oh, and it goes into how much money they make and what it's used for. Sorry, this was a, very, a pretty slow video at the beginning. Um, in 1952, it was recognized the Pentecostal Church in Little Rock, Arkansas. Arkansas has ties to C-L-I-N-T-O-Ns. Hold on for the second video.